So. Yeah. Hey everybody, welcome back. I am back here on my channel talking about something aside from creep show art. I know, what a shocker. Salty talks about something that isn't creep show art. Poggers! But today I'm gonna be talking about something that's actually not poggers. Can't believe I described the situation like not poggers, but it's okay. Now, Cosmodor, a person that you might know from his cartoon reviews or the recent situation that has been going around. Now, first, I'd like to put up a trigger warning because if you don't know who Cosmodor is, but trigger warning for grouping, which I'm guessing you can know what that is, or SA slash rope. There will be a lot of mentions of these sorts of things in this video, and I'm using these keywords or words that would censor the actual word that I'm trying to get across because I do not want YouTube to cuck me and just you know put down my video so that nobody can be aware on the new coming stuff despite a lot of people already doing it I'd like to have my video also be out there for information as well as sharing my opinion on the subject now Cosmodor is a person that you may know from their cartoon reviews or the fact that he groped a child multiple times and not just a child multiple children at that they came back multiple times posted community posts multiple times where they would flip-flop from defending themselves to admitting up guilt which with the upcoming stuff about and the stuff coming out about the second child they've grouped which if you'd like you know proof and evidence you can go check out my last Cosmodor video that I made a bit ago where I show evidence and receipts of the community post because Cosmodor along with his new video explaining himself and you know reflecting on things in quotes just like that video his community tab is private he had deleted all of his community posts and deleted all of his last posts in the span of a year but you know i'm glad that no more of his videos or community posts can get pushed out to new people that he could lead astray but once again it's very inconvenient for people like me who want to find evidence of this who actually want to find evidence of this actual situation occurring so you're going to have to take my word as well as other people's videos that have you know given my word but i do have a screenshot of the actual you know video i was informed i was first informed by somebody in my discord server about the fact that cosmo had returned with an hour-long video but when i checked for it i could not find it so i presumed that he had private it because he did so i just went to my good old reliable pal harley tbs who had made a video on the situation right away and gave you know some context and backstory on the entire video that i will be using in my video to prove you know some points and make the arguments and do the ha ha funny now, since this is a serious situation, I want to get this done and over with quickly. Hey, I'm Salty. If you haven't seen me on the platform YouTube before, that's probably because, um... It's probably because no one likes me. Which is not surprising, but hello, I'm Salty. If you're intrigued by my content or videos like these talking about certain dramas or gropers or situations like these in the art commentary community, I'd recommend you going down and subscribing to my channel as well with post notifications so you're notified every time I upload a video just like this, as well as watching the video through the end and liking the video. That would really push it out to more people with more awareness on the situation. And if you're really intrigued by my content or personality, you can go check out my Twitter where I tweet haha funny memes and you can learn more about me on there and if you're intrigued by my content and you know you like watching my videos and you know other people share that interest you can go and join my discord server down in the description so without further ado back to the actual video now essentially cosmodor had made another video after his you know long break and by long break i mean a literal break over a couple weeks and in that time apparently he got enough help to you know safely come back on the internet clearly he didn't and clearly that therapist is is whack because how does that therapist say oh well you groped multiple children but keep uploading videos that seems like a good idea keep your platform where you can grope more this theory therapist is either whack or cosmodor was lying which i'm not only really surprised if he did but basically he uploaded a hour-long premiere called reflecting on some things now i would actually be doing a sort of reaction style commentary to this video but i can't quite do it because again the video is private but again with the help of other youtubers who have you know basically said the essential story of the entire video that gives the premise of it i have jogged down some notes about it and yeah so i'm gonna be going over those now this video is titled reflecting on some things but the video is just essentially cosmodor trying to defend himself once again trying to say that he did not group a child and that he had just made mistakes which i don't know about you but that seems kind of familiar she can't put my finger on what? It's on the tip of my tongue. Oh, now I remember. It's every grouper's excuse for when they get called out on their actions. Ah. Despite admitting to literally doing it twice, trying to go back on your word, which I really should not be surprised whatsoever, but once again, 
Bruh, like you cannot just admit up to something and then literally weeks later claim that you did not do that thing and that it was just a mistake. Clearly, if you did it multiple times, it wasn't a mistake because when you make a mistake, you learn from a mistake. I swear to God, there are so many sayings that literally are about learning from loss or mistakes. You cannot call what you did a mistake when you do it multiple times and don't learn from it. After Cosmodor claims that, he makes the ludicrous claim that his words are being misconstrued and that people aren't taking what he's saying and they're trying to twist it with mental gymnastics and people are taking his apologies and trying to turn them into defenses which they are if you're trying to claim a video that's literally called defending myself was an apology i genuinely don't know what's wrong in your head but saying that your words are misconstrued when there's no possible way to misconstrue something that is posted on a community post and the way you put it literally i in my personal opinion and i know i'm very smooth brain when it comes to basically everything i'm not very smart so i probably couldn't think of a way to mentally twist this i couldn't find a single way to twist you admitting to grouping multiple children into a defense like you've defended yourself multiple times with this video itself but i digress i still have a lot to talk about now cosmora makes another ludicrous statement saying that because it was normalized in where he grew up it was morally okay and it was just normalized so he shouldn't be called out on this behavior now what i don't understand he claims that it was normalized, but to normalize something, it has to be abnormal in the first place. So you saying that it was normalized means that it was abnormal in the first place, which it is. It's not normalized and it shouldn't be there. And what I don't understand is, oh, it's legal and you saw it a lot. But now that people are calling you out on it and you're aware it's not okay, you still think it's morally right? You still try to defend yourself even though people have informed you multiple times that it's wrong to abuse someone of an age where their brain isn't fully developed? Yeah, I'm calling BS on that. And I'm saying that you knew this entire time and you're just trying to get away from the consequences and you're all doing this for the sake of keeping a platform. Now, another grave detail that I should portray inside of this video is the fact that Cosmodor mentioned the fact that he has unstable personality disorder. Which again, I can say, okay, Okay, okay? Mental health is a very serious thing and mental illness is a very serious thing. But despite that does not excuse your actions. It doesn't excuse the fact that you did this multiple times. Again, you learned from your mistakes. But just because you have a mental illness doesn't make dating minors just okay all of a sudden and something you can do multiple times over. An even more grave or devastating detail than that is the fact that Cosmodor vaguely mentioned his relationship in real life with a minor, implying that he had implying the fact that he had had inspectional experiences and interactions with a minor in real life. Um, excuse me? No, seriously, excuse me? What? No, that's something we're not gonna brush over. No, 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 no. No, you can't say that. You can't do that. What? It's bad enough that you group minors online, but you now do it in real life. Disgusting. You are disgusting. Holy. Now, Cosmodor did state that, oh, I only held their hand hand. Something that I sincerely, 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 sincerely go with all of my heart. Without a doubt, aside from the fact that I doubt this is true. I doubt the fact that you just held their hand. I doubt the fact that that's all you did while you were with them in real life. And the thing is, if he wants to go back on this and say that he never said that, and I have no evidence of that occurring. Back when this original situation dropped and it was with the first minor being grouped, he had literally stated that he would meet them at a convention, but he's saving up for a gaming PC. Funny thing is, before he privated all his community posts, he, um, he sent an Instagram link on one of them, and it was for a new gaming Instagram. I just found that funny, like a little link-up detail, I don't know. But there are two instances of him doing this, so I wouldn't be surprised if he tries to defend himself, but then again, we have those two things. And another thing that links up is that he made a bad decision with his ex that led to them breaking up, which has another layer and layer and layer. It's like an ogre. It has layers, guys. Shrek reference, ha <laughs> ha But just layers and layers of more things that link up and connect between these two instances. And even trying to compare himself to Call Me Carson. Now again, if you don't know what Call Me Carson did, Call Me Carson texted a minor around the age of 17 while he was 19 years old in a inspectual way. Now there were tons of different opinions on the internet at the time about basically whether innocent, guilty, 
disgusting or fine, just weird. That is a two year age difference of someone who is one year away from being of the legal age. Cosmodor dated 14 year old. You wanna know what Call Me Carson did? Tried to better himself. He didn't defend himself. He didn't attempt to defend himself when he was obviously in the wrong. Which I'm not saying he's entirely in the wrong. I technically don't have an opinion on that situation. I'm just saying that Cosmodor is in the wrong, so it's incomparable. Well, Cosmodor, on the other hand, actually did group a minor, multiple at that, and trying to compare yourself to someone who was actually trying to better themselves and going to therapy. Again, I'm not doubting his therapy story, I'm just saying, you know, it's a little sus. They're just trying to make it seem like to his fans that he is in the better life, which he is entirely not, and I encourage anyone who thinks that to get a bit educated on the situation, no offense to you whatsoever, I'm just saying there's a lot of information that proves Cosmo is in the wrong, and if you just go out and find it, it's very simple, even this video for instance, but after he goes on to mock drama channels, which Ooh, that I took that personally. Despite me being technically a commentator, I talk about drama, so does that make me a drama channel? And I technically milk videos and situations for views, but what I don't understand is that's how you get successful on YouTube. I'm gonna be honest, that's how it works. If any of you wanna become a YouTuber out there, and especially an art commentary one, talk about stuff that people care about, and that's how you do the thing. Moving on from that, though. The fact that you'd mock someone else for the worst they do is clickbait and milk topics. To mock someone else and make fun of them and trying to put them down where they're a level underneath you, someone who is grouped multiple minors, is gross as hell, and you shouldn't have even the ability to criticize any aspects of anyone in the world. Unless it's like EDP or something, then I'll let it slide, but Jesus Christ. You don't have the right to criticize aspects of anybody, anybody whatsoever. You do not have the right to do that when you've done something so vile and heinous, and trying to defend that action multiple times while also admitting to it multiple times is gross, and again, you should not have the ability ability to even criticize other people. And to cap this little segment off, he had just said, I hope one day I get to a point where people actually respect me as a YouTuber. Which I find it, and I don't know about you guys, I find it gross. I find it really disgusting how this is your main goal. Your main goal isn't to help the people who have healed who are trying to heal, excuse me. You're not saying that your main goal is to get help, you're saying your main goal is to be respected by other people because of you, some, because you just something you did wrong, and you want people to somehow respect you for that? No. Hey, you apologize, take an actual break, and get some help? Instead of making defense video every couple months? And hey, maybe people will have their heart, and they have to have the warmest heart possible, to forgive you. But that's just my personal opinion on this new Cosmodor situation. If you enjoyed the video, I'd recommend going down, subscribing, turning on post notifications, because I upload videos like these all the time, as well as liking the video. And if you watched to this point, then, you know, you're cool. You're in the cool club now. If you'd like to learn more about me, go follow my Twitter. And if you'd like to, you know, meet a community of people that also like my videos, then join the Discord server. Thank you all for watching. Have a great night. You make my heart break. Oh, you make my heart break. Run around, take me out. You made my earthquake